What's up, Paul here from Guitar World, and today we're going to be checking out the next generation of Bose's S1 Pro loudspeaker, designed for musicians, DJs, and music enthusiasts. This is it, the Bose S1 Pro Plus. Let's check it out. So what is the Bose S1 Pro Plus? In a nutshell, it's a small format battery-powered PA and practice amp. But if you ask me, it's so much more. Now I have the Bose S1 Pro as my portable PA system, but the brand new S1 Pro Plus is the natural evolution and update to that original. In essence, the S1 Pro Plus is positioned to streamline your live setup in a far more efficient manner than its predecessor using a wireless design and wireless connectivity and Bluetooth technology. The S1 Pro Plus is all about the wireless, and having such a clean wireless setup is exciting to me. The S1 Pro Plus delivers powerful and loud sound with improved audio performance in a lighter package than the original S1 Pro, weighing in at just a lightweight 14.4 pounds. And you can see, it's super lightweight. Its rechargeable lithium ion battery provides up to 11 hours of usage on a single charge, which eliminates the need for cables and leaves you with a cleaner setup. But if you want to use cables and plug it all in, you can do that as well. The S1 Pro Plus can be positioned in four ways. Flat, like I have here, angled, or monitor style, and if you want, it can be mounted on a speaker stand. And what's great, is no matter how you do it, it has a rotating logo. Let's look at the S1 Pro Plus control panel. Instead of a rocker button, it's now a one-touch power on-off button. It has an integrated three-channel mixer with two channels for microphones and instruments, and the one-third channel is dedicated to music playback. What's also great about channel three is that it also has an aux input that's a quarter inch that they didn't have before. You still have the 3.5 millimeter insert as well. And of course, it also has the Bluetooth button. And you can also see on the panel, you have a, you have a good signal when it's lighting green. If you're overloading the channel, you'll definitely see it in the signal. There's also an inclusion of a line out that's for all the channels. The OLED displays auto adjust and rotate to the proper orientation to where you position the Pro Plus. The encoders for each channel make it easy to access independent EQ, reverb and tone match controls along with other settings by simply pushing in and rotating. And there are secondary features accessed by simply holding in the encoder. And of course, all of this can be mirrored, accessed and adjusted using the Bose app. There's also a USB charging port for your phone and tablets, a USB-C port for connecting to a computer for updates, and much more advanced features like live streaming. Plus there's a tone match preset that you can set the Pro Plus as a full range flat response channel as a monitor. Only thing missing is a mute switch on the unit, but you can access mute from the app and transmitters. As I mentioned before, it offers a fully wireless experience because of its integrated wireless design for instruments and microphones, along with Bluetooth streaming with full app control. Looking at the two ports right here, these are integrated wireless receivers for the optional microphone line and instrument wireless RF transmitters, which, take note, are sold separately for $149 each. What's great is they pair quickly and effortlessly with the system's integrated wireless RF receivers. And when not in use, they can be stored neatly in the S1 Pro Plus's port and charged. You can even see on the OLED display the charging progress. All right, let's turn it on. There we go. Just like that. And I'm gonna turn it on. Hey, 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 one, two. You also have complete wireless control over settings via the Bose Music app. Volume, EQ, reverb, and the entire tone match library of EQ presets are right there in the palm of your hand. What's great is having this capability allows you to change your settings on the fly without having to bend down on the unit. There it goes, I have all my controls right at my fingertips. 
Um, I have channel one set up as a mic. As you can hear right here. And then channel two I have as an instrument, with I have it plugged in. Now keep in mind, of course, I can change any of the settings, simple like that, treble. I can add more treble to this. Hey, 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 more treble. Or bring it back down to where it was. Control the bass, more bass. Bring it back. I can even add a splash or a wash of reverb. Hey, one, two, check, 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 hey. There you go. Or bring it back. Now what you want to do is you want to put a tone match on this mic, which is really great, a great feature from Bose. Let's do that. Tone match channel one. I have a handheld microphone as a default. So as you can see, I have an SM58 over here. So since, since that, I'm going to go to Shore, find the SM58, and it optimizes it. Hey, see, much cleaner, better signal over here right there and that's it now channel two of course i have an instrument and the default is an electric guitar general processor but more on that later right now i'm going to keep it as is for now but basically you can see i can uh, mute the channel if i need to no more or bring me back and of course i have total control of my settings and even better once i find a setting that I like, I can set it up and save it as scenes to recall for special performances or clubs that have a certain sound that you may want to set that up for. But what's great off the bat is I'm completely wireless and power free. This is right now running on the battery. So I can take this anywhere. Now I'm sure a lot of you guitarists are wondering if say I want to use effects pedals or say a guitar modeling processor, and I'm already wireless, how do I do that with the S1 Pro Plus? Well, problem solved. There's an insert method that allows you to run your effects pedals as well as your guitar modeling processors and still remain wireless using the S1 Pro Plus. It's the insert method. Let me show you how it works. So for the insert method to use your modeling processors and as well as your effects, what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a TRS cable with quarter inch TRS cable to two TS quarter inch ends over here, like this. Or you can get a Y adapter as well. That is of course is a TRS Y adapter to two quarter inch TS female ends. The first thing you wanna do is put the TRS quarter inch into your instrument channel, whatever it is. In this case, it's channel two for me. Next, you're gonna to wanna to take the tip and ring of your two quarter inch from the TRS cable and put the tip into the guitar input and the ring on the output. And in this case, since I'm using a Line 6 Podgo as my guitar modeling processor, I am now ready to use that modeling processor with my wireless guitar. <laughs> And there, just like that, I'm wireless and I'm able to use my effects pedals and my guitar modeling processor. One thing that you need to do when you're doing this is there are expander gates on channel one and two. If you're using reverbs or delays on your modeler, the expander function should be shut off so the tail end of your reverb and delay trails aren't choked or cut off. Next up, what you're gonna wanna do is go to the instrument channel. And in this case, I'll use my Bose app to do that, I'll go to Tone Match Channel 2. I'll, right now I'm going to Instrument, and if I scroll down and I get to Utility, what I wanna do is select Full Range Flat Response for the Bose S1 Pro Plus to really give me a pure and unadulterated signal. So it's giving me the most optimum sound. So I'm using this as sort of a full range flat response monitor. <laughs> So also what's great is that now I can, I've connected a drum machine to channel three and I have my uh, effects processor 
connect to channel two, and now I can just jam with the S1 Pro Plus. <laughs> So as a singer-songwriter, the S1 Pro Plus is just wonderful for just plugging your acoustic and then having uh, your microphone all ready to go. You're all wireless. And now that I have an acoustic guitar here, I'm going to want to tone match this acoustic guitar as well. So simply go to channel two where I have this as an instrument. I'm going to scroll down and look for the name of the guitar, which is I have as a Martin. And this is roughly maybe closer to a D16 acoustic and or maybe a backpacker acoustic, if you will. So let's try the D16 where I'm optimizing its tone mash. <laughs> Let's see if I want to hear what it sounds like with Martin Backpacker Acoustic. Or, even though it's not, let's hear what it sounds like as a D28. So I have it set to that, and then if I want some further EQing, you know, say I want to take a little bit of that bass out, I can do that. Pull the bass back a little bit. And what's great, I can add some reverb now to that sound, give it a little depth. Maybe even more. And then using my drum machine, uh, let's jam to that. singer-songwriters, acoustic and electric guitar players, the Bose S1 Pro Plus is the ultimate compact and portable three-channel PA system available. Not only is it powerful and loud, but having an integrated wireless RF design offers you a clean and cable-free setup with untangled freedom to make your performances carefree. Once paired with the Bose app, it puts all your S1 Pro Plus settings at your fingertips, making it incredibly efficient for fine-tuning. Combine all of this and the Bose S1 Pro Plus is a must have for on the go musicians that just want to plug and play. Definitely check it out. So the cool thing of course with the S1 Pro Plus is that many will use this as, you know, as a singer songwriter, uh, a solo musician. But you know what? It's also great when you're a duo. It's a ride, I'll see you on the flip side. Slip and slide on the naked and split side.